Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. First and foremost, I'd like to start this lesson by giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Recha Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and taught me this 100% truth. Salutations unto the 144,000 doing the work of the Lord in all truth, honor, and sincerity. Shalom to the one third men, women, and children who believe in this word being taught unto them. It's your brother Amna wa Allah. I'm back at you with another lesson entitled Our Deliverance is Something Worth Fighting For. Okay? Because we know that, you know, the ways of this world are passing away, man. You know, this, this world that we currently live in, you know, this current wicked setup. Is about it is a big it's, it's, you know, it's about to become a thing of the past okay this kingdom is going to cease to exist and what's going to come forth is the kingdom of israel which is going to be spearheaded by yahweh shai and then the joint heirs being the elect and it's going to trickle on down to the um, rest of the nation that are brought back through the loins of the elect the scriptures say how we're going to be a nation of what kings and priests okay we're gonna have princesses we, we ain't gonna have no queens in our kingdom man you know if you go to the etymology of the word queen really you know that that's a you know a whore okay so we ain't gonna be having israelite queens in the kingdom man talking about old slay queen and all that crap okay the kingdom of heaven is, is, is up next man that's why you know we say we got next lord willing all right but you know we know that you know pursuing to acts 14 and 22 it says through much tribulation shall we enter into the kingdom of the most high so we know and understand that we're gonna have to go through a lot of different things to um make it onto the other side man that's what second edge 7 is all about when it's talking about that that narrow path where as if there's a deep water on one side and you know a burning fire on the other you know that's why you go to the book of um what's that uh matthew chapter 7 it, talk, it, it talks about what enter ye in at the straight gate man what was straight a, a, a difficult or unpleasant situation uh, that's the straight gate and us being in this truth is filled with many difficult and unpleasant situations we have to deal with in order to make it on the other side but we know and understand that that's the will of the Heavenly Father, man. That's how we say it out to be. So let's, let's get into some scriptures, man. This is 1 Timothy chapter 6 and verse 7, and it reads, For we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain that we can carry nothing out. Okay? We, we didn't bring anything into this world. Alright? We, we was born into this life naked. Alright? So we didn't bring anything here so therefore we don't need to, to to be attached to the things of this world the cares of this life all right because all of that's getting ready to pass away man and that's what that's what you know uh the people you know israelites in the world man that's something they don't understand that the fashion of this world passeth away okay um verse eight that's why what did apostle paul say man he said here in verse 8 and having food and raiment let us therewith be content so yeah the heavenly father you know he put he puts uh he puts clothes on our back you know we got a roof over our head you know some of us got a woman children you know the lord has it to where some of us are single uh, however the lord have it be man having, having food and raiment let us therewith be content because the lord knows us more than we know ourselves man so we knows what we need, you know, the, the, the things that we can have in our lives that we'll be able to balance out with the truth and, you know, it, it won't steal our hearts away from the truth, all right? Some brothers are able to have women, some ain't, you know? The Lord understands, you know, each brother on an individual level, all right? That's why you read Proverbs 3 and 5, what does it say? It says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding, man. 
You're not meant to lean on your own understanding. You're just meant to trust in your, in your how about Um uh, no matter the situation, man. Okay? Lean not on our own understanding, man. And in everything, give thanks to your how about Shemiyashai. That's what it says in, uh, what's that, First Thessalonians chapter 5, and verse 17, I believe. You know? No matter what situation he puts us through, we're supposed to give thanks to your how about Shemiyashai, man. Okay, so what are your how about Shemiyashai? For everything that, that, you, that you do for us, man. Whether it be good, whether it be evil, you know? All things are of the Lord, man. Scripture says, shall we receive good and not evil? Okay. All things come of the Lord. All right. So this is um, verse 9. It says, but they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare. See, that's why, what does it say in Proverbs 11 and 4? It says, riches profit not in the day of wrath. But righteousness delivereth from death. Okay? The true riches are these scriptures, man. The, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of these scriptures. Those are the true riches, man. Alright? These, these, these guys in the world who chase off the money, you know, all they do is spend time chasing the bag. Alright? They're, they're going to come to realize that that was all to no avail. That was all, you know... That was all vanity, all right? And King Solomon, he spoke a lot about vanity when you open up the book of Ecclesiastes, man. He said that all these things in this life are basically vanity and vexation of spirit. You can never have enough, you know? And even the things that you do have because, uh, uh, you know, we're in this wicked world, now it's a fight for it not to turn your, turn your heart away from the Lord. That's why, what did King David say? To take not thy Holy Spirit away from me, man. Because you can, that's why the scriptures say to be users of the world and not abusers, man. Because there, there's many different philosophies that Esau has, has opened up, man. There's, there's many different fruits, all right? Going back to the garden when Eve ate of the apple, man. There's many different philosophies in which you can indulge in and, and they can take your heart away from the Lord, man. Okay, and a lot of these guys in the world, they, 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 they've been taken, man. That's why they don't fear Yahweh by Shemi Al Shai. That's why, you know, they don't re respect his men and, and the work that they do, you know, going out on the highways and the byways, making their bodies a living sacrifice. They, they, don't, they don't see any honor in that, man, because they're wicked. All right, this is a wicked world that we live in. Job 9 and 24 says how the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, man. All right, and who, who's ruling the, the, the planet right now? None other than Esau Edom, the so-called white man. Okay. Um, and, and 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 he's rich, man. All right. Esau Edom has received this consolation because you got Israelites out here that um want to save Esau, man. Esau performed the, the the worst sin man could do, which was to blaspheme the Holy Spirit, man. There, there's no coming back for Esau Edom, man. He's through. Okay? It says in verse 9, But they that um, will be rich fall into temptation and a curse, and into many foolish and hurtful lusts. This is why, reading up, what did it say? It said, Having food and raiment, let us there with be content. Because the Lord knows that, you know, when, when, when you have a lot of money, you know, now you're able to afford to fulfill your, your wicked lusts which is why you get Jake I not even just Jake you know you have people in general they, they run into a lot of money like take someone that wins the lottery for example they, they run into a lot of money and then they're able to fulfill their foolish wicked lusts and look where it lands them man how, how many guys do you know that won the lottery one million millions did something you know uh, did something positive um, or sprouted something positive from that You know How many do you know? Not many if you know any Okay So that's why you see Again going back to Proverbs 3 and 5 
trusting in the Lord with all thine heart and leaning not onto thine own understanding, man. That's why we just got to trust in the Lord. Right? The Lord knows what's convenient for us. The Lord knows what's inconvenient for us, man. If you're of the elect, you know, what did it say? I believe that's in Luke 9. Um, if I'm not mistaken, our none shall pluck them out of my hand. Okay, the elect can't be plucked out of the Lord's hand. All right, and it's 1044 right now, man. You know, we, we call ourselves the hopeful elect, man, because we have heard their speech and was afraid. We know what the Lord is getting ready to do. Okay, and we, we, we're just hoping that we're on the right side of prophecy, man. We don't want to end up like these niggas out here. Okay. So let's read verse 9 again Because you know there's so much to unpack In just one verse It says But they that will be rich Fall into temptation and a snare And into many foolish and hurtful lusts Which drown men in destruction and perdition So you see these wicked lusts man They drown men in, in uh, destruction and perdition Okay That's why That's why you know the scriptures say labor not to be rich all right we, we just got to be content with what the lord got for us man the lord knows our spirits and he will he will uh, provide accordingly man okay it says in verse 10 for the love of money is the root of all evil it's not to say you know certain brothers might you know uh have more money than others you know but um the lord you know, that's just that brother's spirit, man Maybe that brother, his spirit is he, he needs to have that financial soundness In order for him to trust in the Lord Alright, and maybe, maybe he has family Or whatever the case may be Or, you know, he's very beneficial to the body Because he, he gives a lot of tithes Or he helps brothers up He, he helps brothers out, Salakia when, it, when they're in a the jam You know, so You see, it's all about just Trusting in however the Lord has got it set up, man Okay, he says, For the love of money is the root of all evil, while some coveted after they have erred from the faith. You know, Elder Apostle Bar says it all the time, and you've got guys out there that, that are pretty much selling everything that ain't nailed down. They came to this truth and, and they turn it into a hustle, man. This truth ain't a hustle, man. You know, the, 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 the true elect are going to be about the Father's business, man. All right, which is, you know. If you love me, feed my sheep and feed my lamb. That's what Yahweh Shai said. Alright? Coming in the spirit of his father, Yahweh. Okay? If you love me, feed my sheep and feed my lamb. Alright? So it's our duty to, you know, do the work, man. Do the videos, go out on the highways and the byways. Alright? That's our duty, man. As joint heirs of Yahweh Shai. Hopeful elect. Okay. It says for the love of money is the root of all evil While which some coveted after They have erred from the faith And pierced themselves through with many sorrows man You know As they say money isn't Money doesn't buy happiness man Why is it that you got these millionaires and billionaires They get caught strung up on drugs Commit suicide, overdose all of that. I thought you was meant to be happy man You got the, the, the riches right Alright verse 11 But thou O man of God Flee from these things and follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, meekness. So this is what we need to be following after, man. Not not after the ways of the world. In which what's the ways of the world? Chasing the bag. You know, just just gotta get to the cake. Okay, that's all they care about. But I already quoted Proverbs 11 and 4: Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness. Deliverer from death That's just how it is man Okay It says in verse 12 Fight the good fight of faith Lay hold on eternal life Lay hold on eternal life man Can you, can you even fathom that You know When we're in the kingdom of heaven We're going to be in a new body And we ain't going to die Okay, we're gonna be we're gonna be immortal forever young I wanna be forever young you know we're, we're just gonna be you know like, like stuck on 30 man 
Look, I speak as a man, but I, you know, I feel like, like Jake, if you maintain yourself well in your 20s, you know, good diet, good exercise, and things of that nature, healthy habits, you know, I, I, I believe that, that really you reach like your pinnacle at 30, man, you know, so forever 21, 30, wherever, wherever you want it to be, man, but we're, we're going to be forever young, man, you know, we're going to be, be raised up in immortality, man, never going to be able to die, never going to be able to go off, because what's, what, what, what is the wages of, of, of sin? Death. Death is the wages of sin. So if we're going to be 100% uh, righteous, how are we going to die? You see? Because the wages of sin is what? Death. Okay? So it says um, in verse 12 again, Fight the good fight of faith, lay hold on eternal life, whereunto thou art also called, and has professed a good profession before many witnesses. And we profess this before many witnesses, man. You know, uh, this word goes out on the internet and anyone with an internet connection anywhere in the world is able to tune in and be edified. All right, but there goes the many witnesses. This word, this 100% truth sprung out of where? New York. And now you got brothers like myself operating here in the UK. Many other brothers. You know, all around the world, man, GMS is global and Elder Apostle Taha and down, they didn't have to, um, you know, travel around the world to, um, you know, open up these camps, man. The internet did the heavy lifting, man. The internet scripture is what? Psalms 19. Okay. But sticking to the point, man, our deliverance is, is, is something worth fighting for. Okay, because um, see the scriptures say, then shall they know who are my chosen, man. You know, all, all those people that mocked and they scoffed at us. You know, eventually they're gonna be like, oh shit, these were the same men which we, you know, we we fought. Oh man, even just saying that, I got I got to get uh, wisdom of Solomon chapter three, man. I gotta read. I gotta read some of that. Okay. The wisdom of Solomon chapter 3. And I'll start at the top. This is verse 1. And it reads, But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of the Most High, and there shall no torment touch them. So the souls of the righteous are in the hand of the Lord, man. Going back to, what was it, I believe, Luke 9 You know, the elect Had they can't be plucked out of the Lord's hand Okay It says in verse 2 In the sight of the unwise They seem to die And their departure is taken from misery So yeah, in the sight of those people in the world We're just an unfortunate bunch You know, just the unlucky ones And just riddled with burdens And suffering You know, that's, that's what it looks like to those that are in the world Verse 3 And they're going from us to be utter destruction But they are in peace Because really we're in peace man We have the understanding of the scriptures We have the, the hidden gems man Alright this, this wisdom isn't privy To just any old nigger Okay The scriptures say Ye have not chosen me I have chosen you So the heavenly father is the one that does the choosing man whether he wants to wake your ass up or whether he wants to keep your ass asleep you know that's all that's all determined by by, by uh, the lord man okay so it says uh in the sight of the unwise they seem to, to die and their departure is taken from misery and they're going from us to be utter destruction but they are in peace all right for though they be punished in the sight of men Yet their hope is full of immortality. Our hope is full of immortality, man. Even though it seems like we're being punished in the sight of men. All right, the Lord has got us, man. All right, we understand, uh, you know, why we're going through the suffering, man. Enter in at the straight gate. That's why we read what it said in 1 Timothy chapter 6, to fight the good fight of faith. Okay, because it is a fight, man. But our deliverance, once again, 
is worth fighting for, man. Because as we go into Wisdom of Solomon 5, the, you know, the world is basically going to realise that, ah, oh, we erred not knowing the scriptures, man. Okay? So it says in um, verse 5, and having been a little chastised, all this hell that we're catching, the Lord sees it as just a little chastisement, man. Like really, we, we ain't going through nothing like that, man. Like just, just, just settle down, you know. They shall be greatly rewarded for the Most High proved them and found them worthy for Himself. All right, for gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Okay. It says, as gold in the furnace have you tried them and received them as a burnt offering. So yeah, we're being tried in that fire, man. That's why we're going through the tribulation. And in the time of their visitation, they shall shine and run to and fro like sparks among the stubble. You know, we're going to have that, that spiritual power, man. Okay? Nothing is going to be impossible unto us, man. Matthew 17 and 20. Alright? It says, they shall judge the nations and have dominion over the people. And their Lord shall reign forever. All right, who's our Lord? Yahweh Shai. And we're going to be joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. So therefore, us also are going to reign forever alongside with Him. All right. It says they shall judge the people. It says they shall judge the nations. Oh, so like I read that already. Verse nine. They that put their trust in Him shall understand the truth. Okay. And we put our trust in Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. And we understand what's going on. We understand what's required of us. Okay? Because we trust in Yahweh Bashem Yahashai, man. Okay? It says, But they that trust in him shall understand the truth, and such as be faithful in love shall abide with him. For grace and mercy is to his saints, and he hath care for his elect. All right? But the elect are going through something we call in the J community tough love, man. All right? The, the, the Lord is dealing, but his way of dealing is by giving us that tough love. Okay? That's why we're being tried like that gold in the fire. Because that's how the Lord deals, man. That's how a father deals. You know, the mother's a lot more like nurturing and, and, and soft and delicate. As well as the father, you know, he, he, he lays down the law, man. You know, he'd be a bit rough around the edges. Okay. But verse 10 says, But the ungodly shall be punished according to their own imaginations. You see? That's why, you know, we don't want to suffer the fate of the ungodly. So our deliverance is something we're fighting for, man. Because they're going to be punished according to their own imagination So imagine that, you know Everyone got that, their worst fear, their worst nightmare Well the Lord is going to bring their worst fears and their worst nightmares upon them man That's why Hebrews 10 and 31 says It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power man Okay, there's power in that state Okay Which have neglected the righteous and forsaken the Lord Alright and that's, that's, that's plain man Okay So let's read Wisdom of Solomon 5 A couple verses Starting at the top It says Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness Before the face of such as have afflicted him And made no account of his labours And that's what we're doing now We're out there um, On the highways and the byways You know teaching the word uh, speaking out against this devil openly, man. We ain't hiding in no corner, man. Uh, we're prophesying the downfall of this devil boldly, okay? Um, verse 2 When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear, all right? And, and you know, when, when these Edomites see us, these other nations, you know, even, you know, there's a particular area we teach in, and, you know, there, there's a, there, you know, you, sometimes you might find some small hats passing through. When they see us, they're troubled with terrible fear, man. Okay? But then, imagine, I mean, they, 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 they're troubled with that terrible fear now. Well, what more when they see our salvation? Okay? So it goes on to say, 
and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all that they looked for so they, they you know they're gonna expect the the grandiose salvation that um, that's about to you know befall us man you know they, they're not expecting it to be as spectacular as it's gonna be that's why it says so far beyond all that they looked for because when they think about UFOs and chariots they're thinking it's, it's little green men from Mars that are on there when really it's the angels of the Lord which, which look a lot like Israelite men down here on earth you know that, that austere look uh, uh, dark skin afro big beard strong powerful you know so when they when they see these angels these beings looking like us flying these ships they're, they're gonna give up the very the, the, the ghost man because then they're gonna you know uh, Edomite's worst fear all right with all his wickedness okay and Edomite's worst fear is that the true power of heaven and earth looks like us us dark-skinned Negroes all right Israelites you know that's his worst fear man because then that means that everything he's done to his people all the suffering all the you know iniquity he's gonna have to pay for that man and they're gonna be in that spirit of their forefather Cain in Genesis 4 and 13 in which he stated my punishment is greater than I can bear well yeah it is but you're still gonna have to bear it anyway man that's why once again Hebrews 10 and 31 is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power man okay um, verse 3 and they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves this was he whom we had sometimes in derision and a proverb of reproach but they're going to realize that raw this is the same individual we mocked at we scoffed at we said he was bugged out he had it all wrong this is the same individual that we see being uh saved in this in this strange manner okay this was he who we had sometimes in derision and a proverb of reproach we fools accounted his life madness and his end to be without honor you know, they, they didn't expect us to come into the, uh, the victory, man. You know? They, they, they thought we was just always going to be down and out. You know? Like the Most High don't have care for his elect. You know, they, they thought we was just always going to be some bottom feeders, man. Okay? So they're not going to be able to handle seeing us in our glory, man. They're going to be like, raw, like, yo. Because look, man. The Edomites are so proud, yeah, that even you, you can have a Jake doing better than an Edomite, but just because of the very fact that he an Edomite, the Edomite still think he's better than that Jake. When really the scriptures say that you're you're the basest of men, you were violent on all the earth, man. So so what are you talking about? But that goes to show you the proudness of this devil, man. Okay. It says we fools account in his life madness and his end to be with our honor and that goes for even two-thirds of our own people man two-thirds of our own people you know they even help forward the affliction man how many times you have a, a simple ass bugged out israelite jake walk by the camp come with some stupid chant like oh my god you're no israelite you're no israelite they're pulling out their phones trying to record us and make us a a, a, a funny segment of their of their snapchat story or whatever the case may be when these times when 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 this when uh the tribulation hits when jacob's troubles come in full force these are the same men you're gonna see you know some of them gonna gonna be raised up with that spiritual power man divine intervention is gonna be taking place in their lives and you're gonna know that you erred not knowing the scriptures man okay Verse 5, this is what you're going to be saying to yourselves, man. How is he numbered among the saints? I mean, how is he numbered among the children of the Most High and his lot among the saints? Okay, how? Therefore, have we erred from the way of truth 
and the light of righteousness have not shined unto us and the sun of righteousness rose not upon us see they're going to realize that they they really didn't have it all figured out like they believed they did they believed they had it all figured out because they, they, they may have ran into some riches they may have, you know uh, uh, got into a, a, a lucrative business and they're living some some comfy kind of life here in the world so they're thinking well yeah well i was able to achieve this with my own wisdom you know um and then they're going to realize that again it was all vanity and vexation of spirit because all that's really going to matter when the nukes go flying when your house i returns and 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 there's great tribulation here on earth all that's going to matter is i'm, I'm out of the elect or not Am, am, am I going to be found worthy? Did I do enough? Because even the elect are going to be fearful on that day. Read Revelation 11, man. It says, um, uh, And the remnant were affrighted, but gave glory unto the power of heaven, man. So even even, even though, you know, uh, the elect, whoever they may be, even though they know the scriptures and, and they understand the prophecies, okay, you know, they're, they're still going to be worrying and hoping that they're of the elect man okay because that that's how bad this judgment is, is going to be all right this ain't a joke man and that's what we keep trying to tell our people by the end of the day we know and understand that only the elect will, will wake up to this man and the rest are just going to fall into to immense judgment okay it says um in verse 7 we wearied ourselves in the way of wickedness and destruction yeah we have gone through deserts where there lay no way but as far as the way of the lord we have not known it yeah they they got they engaged in them false philosophies them different philosophies man you know they 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 thought they had the truth they thought they had it all figured out to them realize that that they erred not knowing the scriptures man you know they they really they really don't know the truth they really don't know how the heavenly father gets down because you got the christians talking about god is all love man then you bring out isaiah 45 and 7 all of a sudden is what bible are you reading you know it says in verse 8 what have pride profited us or what have good riches with our vaunting brought us that's why again the scriptures say labor not to be rich man all right because these you know these riches are, are, are getting ready to be made void all right they ain't gonna mean anything and they really don't mean anything in the grand scheme of things okay and that's that's just that all right it says all those things are passed away like a shadow and as a post that hasted by you know that is it's not gonna matter man all right So, um, there was another precept that popped in my mind And then it just left me man So lucky I'm in the flesh um, What was it man I can't really remember man But let me, let me go to this one anyway This is 1 Corinthians Chapter 15 and 58 It says um Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labour is not in vain in the Lord. All right, we're, we're not just doing this work for no reason, man. You know, there, there, there's going to be a, a, a great payout. There's going to be a great reward. Okay? So, um, you know, we just got to suffer patiently, man. And continue to do what's required of us in hopes that we are found worthy to be of the elect. You know, that's that's just how it's gonna go, man. You know. Because when we're in them chariots, man, but when we're in the chariot of the Lord and we're beholding the destruction of, of Babylon the Great, we're gonna be grateful that the Lord woke us up, he kept his diligent spirit on us, and, and he gave us a spirit to endure until the end. You know so we, we must always remember that man keep our eyes focused on the bigger picture and remember what the outcome is going to be all right for those of us who have presented our bodies uh, as a living sacrifice man 
Okay. This is um, Romans 12. I'll start at the top. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service. This is our reasonable service, all right? And be not conformed to this world. All right, we're not meant to be conformed to this world. Again, being users of the world, but not abusers, man. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. All right, we have to be brainwashed with this truth, with this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the Most High. Okay, that's 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 what it is, man. All right, we bring out one more precept. First John chapter 2 and verse 15 and it reads love not the world neither the things that are in the world if any man love the world the love of the father is not in him okay the love of the father is not in you if your mind is all wrapped up in this world man which you see, if you can't if you ain't noticed man you know this world is passing away all right it says for all that is in the world the lust of the flesh the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is of the father it's not of the father Salakia, but it's of the world okay and the world passeth away and the lust thereof so soon these things ain't gonna matter anyway man so why not just look into this truth man you know seeking out the ancient paths doing what's right what's pleasing to the Lord to the best of our ability all right it says, and the world passeth away and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of the Most High abideth forever. Okay? So this is where it's at, man. This is the way Mookie in it, man. Okay? Things are getting serious out here, man. So we really gotta, you know, put our serious, uh, you know, gird up that, that, that loins like a man. You know? Set our heart aright and constantly endure. And faint not without rebukes of him, man. You know, we're in that time. But you know Jacob's trouble was fastly approaching, man. You see, you see what's going on all over the world. 2024, you know, Elder Apostle Taha, he coined this year the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble, man. So we just gotta see and believe, man. And you know, we've got quadruple one right now. It's 11 11 right now, you know. To the Lord, you know, Lord willing, man. The Lord is dealing, man. Okay. But I'ma wrap it up there. You know, I'ma jump on the on, on you know, I'm going to be going live off the GMS Exalt the Most High page uh, later on today. So, you know, I'm on my way to camp, you know, fellowship with my brothers, man. So that's where it's at, you know. But I pray, Lord willing, this lesson's been edifying. And until the next time, I see you, Shalom.